Hello everybody and welcome. Good to be back with you. We've been away out west driving, driving the car, behind the wheel and on the wheel. <laughs> yeah, we covered something like 4,495 miles. I just got back on Friday, last Friday. Um, back here now and um, as you can see we've um, setting up a, a little studio outside here right outside the gallery and I'll just swing the camera around you can see how we are in proximity to the road down here where cars drive so I'm getting my signposts put up there, freshly painting some. They're going to go up there on the other side of the where the car is there. And hopefully people are going to come in and they're going to be able to see the potter at work. It's always good, isn't it, to have your wheel um, see if we can put here. Hang on, that's a bit topsy-turvy, isn't it? See if we can get them up here a bit straighter. Yeah, always good to always good to be able to be making pots and selling them. I always think it's a good good practice if possible is in many cases it is not possible I know but um, yeah I'm just getting a few lumps of clay ready here these these are two two pounds and I'm going to start off by making a few flower pots because well it's the time of the year when people need flower pots it's not that I'm really going to be making a lot of flower pots but to be honest with you I actually need some flower pots because I've got I bought some geraniums and some other bits and bobs we got here to put to put in and we are short of flower pots so I thought well better quickly make some then so that's what I'm doing Dee 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 dee. But before I do that, I've got a little bit of a accumulation here of clay, dry clay from trimmings, etc. That I just need to. One of the nice things about these wheels is that they they do allow you a lot of trimmings, a lot of slots. So that over here. my water pot there get rid of unnecessary tools make sure I've got the necessary ones my wire my needle sponge on a stick my leather give my leather a little wet and my throwing stick so my trim tool I don't need, so I'm getting rid of that. That's going to go in my toolbox. And um, we're going to get a lump of clay for, for a gauge. La 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 la. So, oh yeah, my mirror. Let's get that clean. Do you find there's always a lot of things to do? 
before you can actually get down to the wheel there's always those preparing preparatory bits that you have to do well you know I could have prepared my wheel beforehand I could have taken out the clay but then I thought well it's all good to see isn't it it's all part of what's going on in in the pottery need a bit more water in there I brought everything down here now more or less probably a few things I've forgotten my wedging table my my clay lumps and um, so let's jump on see if we can see if we can grow a few pots <laughs> What I'm doing now is just simply making some some regular type flower pots. The thing about flower pots is you don't want them to be too thin or flimsily made. So I'm going to break in here, don't go too thin in the base. Dee -dee -dee. These are not big, big flower pots, these are just like, I'm going to go bigger, but these are ones just to get my, get my hand in as it were. Always the first, the first pots will involve just getting, getting your hand in, getting yourself loosened up, getting yourself in the right frame of mind. Might take a few pots to do that, huh? So we're gonna we're gonna give him a rolled rim because a flower pot needs a good stout solid rim because it's gonna get knocked about a bit, isn't it? Can you hear that bird? Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely spring here. Now you want to make flower pots so that they have a little bit of a V to them so, and, and that enables you to stack them one inside the other you see Right now, right down in the very base, I'm going to push. I'm going to push right the way through, and put a hole in the base. Just a, a small hole. Don't want to make the hole too big. Just enough so that it can drain. thing about flower pots, we don't want to get over precious about them. They're going to get knocked around, they're going to get broken, they're only, they're only fired at bisque temperature aren't they? So maybe we'll get off the wheel and just have a sideways look at that to see. What do you reckon? Is that looking are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? This is... Yeah. Hey, maybe we move the camera over here. Give you a different... Give you a different angle on things. 
All right, that'll do for now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I don't think I gave it the leather treatment, did I? So we're just gonna leather him. And I'm gonna set up a gauge, actually. Old chopstick. Find a fixed point on the side of your wheel and then you can affix the, it's just, uh, with these guys it's more, it's not that, you know, we're sort of measuring up for fitting lids or anything, it's just, just, you know, an approximate. So now, cut him off, stop the wheel, I'll lift him off and put him down there. Okay, right, let's go, number two. Yeah, flower pots are nice things to sort of uh, loosen up on, aren't they? Get a bit stiff sometimes, don't we, with our throwing? We just sort of just need to loosen up a bit. I love being out here looking out at the flowers. And listening to the birds. Dee 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 dee. Forming the base. We get a hole there, lift up the clay. Dee -dee. Yeah, we've just been across to to Westminster in uh, Just outside Denver, did a workshop there. So hi to all of those guys. Over there, one thing that's occurred to me: how big this country is when it comes to trying to drive across it. Going across the Midwest from Pennsylvania to. to the Rockies or to, it's just like interminable flatness and rather I don't know I suppose the interstate is a bit like many roads of that type where they're rather everything's pretty much the same After that, we went down into New Mexico. We had a bit of an impromptu workshop down there as well, which came about at New Mexico Clay. So, big hi to everybody down there at New Mexico Clay. And um, very hot it was and dry when we were there. Reminded me of Spain, rather. Yeah, so just using my throwing stick here a bit on the side just to clean away some of the some of the slurry there, you see. You need to clean off the, off the slurry otherwise you won't you can't pick the pot off off the wheel. And I think with this one actually I'm going to put a couple of lines in at the top here. Uh, just under the rim. 
just a decorative a couple of decorative lines just leather him and cut him off wipe your hands lift him off now don't worry if he goes a bit out of shape like that when you put him down you you just give him a gentle like that we've got these lots of clay here in the sun which is not a good idea Toning up, centering down, putting the clay down into itself, pushing down, forming, forming the base. And at this point, I'm just putting now that hole through the base for for drainage. Now, lifting the clay. While, you, while, you, while you're doing your lift, keep your hands down on the side of your wheel tray. Support your hands as, as much as you can. Pulling up the clay. Now, a nice rolled rim, you see, gives the flower pots a little bit of Bit of stability at the top of the pot so the pot doesn't go out of round. Pulling it up, flip the clay over. It's really kind of folded over but you, you make it nice and round so it looks like it's rolled. We call it a rolled rim but it's really a really sort of like folded over. Okay, going up the side, watching the gauge, widening it out to the gauge. Do you work to a gauge? You ought to work to a gauge if you do, if you do reproduction work. Otherwise, you're not going to get your pots the same size. Unless you are an, an exceptional thrower. Okay, using my throwing stick on the side, just, I put the stick against it and then I put my hand in and then just move my hand up like that, you see, to the bottom, keep the stick in that position, and you don't really move the stick much, you just move your hand, pushing the clay out to the stick and then up, you see. The bevel underneath at the base, very important. That helps you to thumb the pot off afterwards and saves you a lot of time. We don't do any trimming with flower pots, for heaven's sake, folks. Don't get good thinking you're going to be trimming these. That's why we we're finishing them off now, you see. Quick and simple. Let's see, we're putting a, little, a couple of little lines in here for, for decoration. And that's it. Don't spend any more time on them. Lift him up. Okay, if he goes out of shape, don't worry about it. You're going to put him down and you're just going to give him a little at the side. Get down there. <laughs> Na, na, na.
what better? A nice treadle wheel outside like this, no whirring of electric motors. Out in nature. Okay, we're gonna make that hole in the base. Yeah, there, there it is. Lift him up, and as you lift, don't let him get wide at this stage. Okay, you're going to keep him fairly conical and straight at this stage. As he gets higher, he gets a bit wider. Maybe you ought to get out there and make some flower pots. Now that spring is here. Okay, now, now we're at the stage where we can where we can roll roll the rim. Okay, there he is. And down. Kind of tuck him in so he's you shouldn't you shouldn't trap any air there really. Unless you're very clumsy about it. But if you get a bit nifty, you you can just do that quickly. You won't trap air. Okay, now I'm widening him a touch. Just bringing him out to the gauge. Sponge him out. Don't forget to sponge out. Throwing stick. Bevel. Now we're going to do what I just said, like this. Hold the throwing stick slightly at an angle, like that. Okay. And then with the inside fingers, just push against the stick and then bring it up like that. And that should do it. Couple of little lines there below the rim decorative feature there's a there's something about flower pots you see that is simple that is not they're not decorated because the flower pot doesn't want to draw attention to itself it wants to be drawing the attention to the flowers so it's a fairly neutral Uh, plain, I should say, not so much neutral, but you know. Okay, folks, and there we are, one more. Lift him off. He's a little bit out of shape, but we don't worry because he's going to go back into shape. We're going to give him a little wobble, like that, and there he is. Next one. These are two pounds, and if, if you're wondering about the width of them, I can give you a measurement. They are about six, hang on, about six and a half wide, and about five inches high, these ones. Form the base, don't make the base too thin. Sometimes the first thing that people do when they're planting out, potting out, is take little stones and drop them down the bottom. So where the hole is, the, the soil doesn't run out, or the potting compost. So sometimes the base of your pot is the first thing that's gonna to happen to it. People are gonna be dropping stones down. 
into the into the base of the pot. So you want to make it. You don't want to be making them like coffee mugs, a quarter of an inch thick. Um, you're, you're, be you're better off with a, a flower pot for flower pots to have the bases about half an inch thick, or three eighths anyway. Now these flap, these particular flower pots. That I'm just using regular stoneware clay for these, so they won't they won't have the usual nice terracotta colour. But what I'm going to do is later, when they're a little bit leather hard, I will brush them over with a, a red terracotta clay slip, which will then render them a nice terracotta colour and we won't have to we won't have to worry that they're not terracotta but they will look like they're terracotta now if you really want to see flower pots being made by somebody who's a, an expert you want to check out my friend Guy Wolf over in over in um, over in Connecticut. Guy Wolf, you look him up on 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 YouTube. Guy Wolf, and watch him make flower pots. I've actually visited him, and some I do have some clips of mine from his studio. But if you if you go to Guy's place, he'll show you how to make flower pots. Nobody better to show you how to make flower pots than Guy Wolf. He makes fantastic flower pots, and um, so check him out on the on the World Wide Web. Check him out on the Spider's Web. Seems we've all been sucked in, doesn't it, to the spider's web. I suppose we're all waiting for the spider to come and get us, but yeah, no, check out, seriously, check out Guy Wolf. He's over in a place called Ban Bantam, I think, in... He's got some really great clips, though, seriously, on making flower pots. You really want to go there and see him work because it does some great stuff. Okay, that's the last of my lumps, folks. Um, so we're just going to cut this guy off. Sorry, guy. <laughs> cut this guy off. So there they are. There they are. Let's have a look at the fellas. Yeah. Well. As you say, as I said, I'm getting my hand in, you see. Got to start looking for some consistency in your work. And not a bad place to start by making flower pots. I would say, yeah, okay, well, I want to go on and make some, some bigger pots actually, I mean some bigger, some bigger, uh, bigger flower pots, I still, I've got a bit of clay over there, I'll finish that up, and um, yeah, so, um, Go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. Um, if you want to join it with me for a powwow, a powwow on powwow, 
for some live interactive teaching you need a webcam, a laptop, a potter's wheel, clay and we can do uh, a session, have a session there. In fact, in coming up in the next in the next month, I think we've got making goblets, making plates, throwing a teapot components and putting them together. Anyway, check out my latest powerhouse schedule at powerhouse.com, and um, yeah, and and sign up for a class. You don't have to travel; you can be in your own studio and we will have fun together doing that. Usually the classes are not very big so you'll get personal attention and you can ask me questions and I can watch you work, you can watch me work and we can we can have a powwow. <laughs> hey, keep practicing, that's the secret. Bye now. Dee, 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 dee.